Hello all, I'm back and welcome to the new game room. So, uh, if you've seen any of our previous videos, I've done a few uh, game room tours in the past. Uh, I've had a lot of my stuff all over the place. This is the first time I've actually had the majority of it all in one place. So what I wanted to do was just, as I normally do, show you around and uh, explain a little bit about how my game room works. So, here we go. So here we have it. This is as far back as I can get from this angle. So I'll explain a little bit in greater detail about what everything is as we go around. Let's just do a round tour, shall we? So I've had to put in lots of shelves because yes, I've got a big games collection, but I don't want to make this about, oh yeah, I've got collected a lot of games over the years. I want to make it more about uh, how this whole thing sort of works because as you can see there's shelves and things everywhere and I've got a very little gap around here <laughs> so uh, instead of having a typical desk chair I've got a fold out chair there I grab cushions from the sofa to sit on it so that's a little bit how <laughs> that corner works uh, so in this corner I've got my uh, gaming PC and an old an older PC so this isn't um, particularly high-end but it's enough to play the Sims on which is good enough for me so a few decorations and such up here and this is something I'm rather um, fond of it's uh, I'll turn it on so you won't be able to see it in this light but this is a little bit of a projector I'll show you in the dark at the uh, end of the video uh, but yeah so so it's a big monitor for the game PC and the smaller 4x3 monitor there for uh, for the older PC and and yes that explains what this is this has um, PC games that I play most often so Sims is front center there but I can just easily sit on the chair and flick through them and uh, got CD dual case games down at the bottom there and so over here we start with PS2 which I've got I mean it's impossible with the amount of room here to have it one deep really and have a because this is too many games so everything is like it's like too deep solid solidly packed in there so there's a there's a few hundred <laughs> ps2 games there so if we're guessing about 50 there so you know it's 50 hundreds in each deep shelf so i don't want to make it about how many games but yeah it is a it does get quite problematic got some impact uh, impact I mean to say import uh, GameCube here and uh, Game Boy player so that's your GameCube play shelf that's your Xbox shelf and uh, you go oh that's just the projector going off there's your Xbox 360 so my Dreamcast games are here and also I've got a lot of figures and stuff so this space at the top I just decided to use for display some of my figures and collectibles and stuff. So the, the Dreamcast goes up down here until about, uh, don't know what in the hour, it's all alphabetical, so about the T's goes up to the letter T. And then we got the, of course, the Xbox 360 into the Wii, into the Wii U. And then everything uh, Blu ray size boxes are together, so you start on PS3. And then you go down to PS4, I thought that was the best way of doing it. And um, yeah, to go into a little bit more detail about what skipped over over here uh, was uh, PS4 continues there. Because these shelves the way they are, I couldn't have all the shelves the same size. So this one sees two in the middle are slightly smaller. So put Vita across there, uh, Xbox, 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 one that is, and then sort of the CD size things or ds games there i've got a bit of psp imports mixed in with them and then yeah the rest of the xbox uh yeah so uh, can, the psp continue up here i did want to use this top as a display area but too many games to do that so the uh, pal saturn have ended up there uh, there's also a Mega CD game in the bundle of big boxes and my two box Japanese N64 games. Um, there's all the PAL PS1 going into uh, 
import PS1 that's uh, US here into Japanese and then I think I start uh, yes with US Dreamcast into Japanese Dreamcast games okay moving back to this corner you may also got lots of things stacked up here um, there's a few random things that's a Game Boy in a case quite a nice case that's for a Game Boy um, <laughs> and then you've got the Pokemon typing game but uh, most of this is arcade sticks because I'm big into fighting games so I've got a lot of arcade sticks and really know where to put them and I want them to be accessible so they're all down here and, and that's also an arcade stick in that PlayStation bag. Uh, there's a, a fighter pad there. You know, as I say, a few random things. PlayStation TV and uh, Buzz Music Quiz. Anyhow. So this is, um, I had this in the old flat. This is display cabinet. And I've got quite a big Dragon Ball collection of figures and such. So though those all live in here now. If it's Dragon Ball up to about there then it sort of branches out into a few uh, Star Wars and fighting game characters a little Yoda collection in the corner and uh, my Sega Pico lives there because it's an awkward thing to put anywhere so I just put it at the bottom there with a couple of figures so now we can just sort of turn around so this is what you've got here we had this in our uh, well it was our main sofa in the last place we lived now because the sofa bed this is a spare bedroom so thought that would work quite well in here though it takes up if I get into this corner you know it, it takes up a lot of space in the room you have to leave that bit at the front because obviously that part pulls out to create a double bed so um, collectibles and such continue into the the window uh, mostly Dragon Ball figures there just have a mess around with uh, have them accessible and then let's talk a little bit about what we've got over here. So probably this is a pretty good angle to do it at. On the left there, by the radiator, there's these, again, just like the one over there, you've got a, a cabinet. Let's go, I say a cabinet, it's more like a trolley. Hang on, I'll, we'll go round. So this is what I'm using for handheld games. So I thought it was, I don't know how practical it is, but reasonably inventive. If I move a few of these things off the, the top, it fits in, Game Boy games. Now, these aren't alphabetized or anything, but I could probably do with doing that. Uh, but you should be able to find what you're after relatively quickly because I've not got such a massive, compared to everything else, a massive collection of Game Boy and uh, other handheld ones. Because you've got Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, uh, down here you've got Game Gear, and yes, Game Gear and a few Neo Geo uh, Pocket. Colour games there, Game Boy Advance. Quite a lot of Game Boy Advance, I'm really quite into that system, but I'm not a big collector of the older uh, uh, Game Boy, I suppose, or Game Gear, but I've, I have a few. And then I've got some of the consoles down here. So this is my um, analog pocket, which I've done a video on in the past. So that's the most helpful one because it's got the uh, Game Gear adapter. So that's the best way for me to play the old. Um, Game Gear games and any other Game Boy game really. Uh, this is a Neo Geo pocket in there. Then you've got a 3DS in there. You've got a Game Boy Micro there. I've also got all my 3DS and DS games separate from the cases. Uh, so, so they're just all stored in these, which I've been using for quite some time. So if you come around here, you've got to have a CRT TV, haven't you, for those things which are more awkward to connect. To your HD television, so um, that's being used right now for the CDI 450, which sits down there. And then, of course, I had an issue with this thing where, to, you know, because space, you don't want to have it on the radiator or in front of the radio or anything. So it covers up this, and I had this horizontal, the Xbox One X. So I've made it vertical. After a while, I found the stand for it and took it next to the Xbox lamp. Uh, so that, that's all hooked up. Then across from there, original Xbox. This is quite a nifty one because it'll play imports as well and it's got some games built in and 
yeah it, it's the I've got a few Xboxes, different colours and such, but this is the one that's most practical to use. The Wii U's back out again, good to see that. And uh, Xbox 360, that's my favourite looking Xbox 360, I say I've got a few of those, but uh, that's the one I like to use. It's just finding spaces for things like the camera sort of fit there, you know, it's also... So everything sort of fits in together, it's a bit of a mess down here, but you've got your Dreamcast and your PS2 Again, like um, if you see any of the previous videos, these two were, um, will play any region of discs, so that's the best solution for those. And these drawers I've been using, like in the old place, to, to categorize and store away things like controllers and other accessories, so that's the Xbox drawer, PlayStation drawer, that's the, the Wii drawer, which is stuffed with things, and then you've got the Dreamcast. Drawer. So anything that doesn't fit in those drawers, it's either an accessory or a controller or anything, is over here. I think this first one is a real mix of stuff. Uh, so I won't go into there, but I kind of know what's here. Um, there's the adapter for the GameCube controls for the Wii U and multi-taps and N64 and CDI and whatever. Um, here's my PS3, which is I've kind of made theme it a little bit here. So um, this PS3 powers the light that's connected to it, as the Xbox One X powers that light through a USB. So that's quite nice. So when you have got your PlayStation 3 on, your PlayStation light comes on there. And back to these, there's another one down here, which is just so I can have it a little bit more organised. It's nearly exclusively light guns down here. Uh, which will work, of course, with this TV over there, but I have got another TV, CRT elsewhere, which these are better suited to, a little bit bigger. But I'll show you that. Uh, so up here, I'll just straighten out knuckles. It's a little bit of a Sonic-themed area where I've got a couple of controllers that are easy to grab. And back here, I create a little bit of a space for memory cards and such. Uh, like Poker Walker as well, and the camera and the remote. This remote works with that um, projector over there. Uh, so, up here, you've got the last of the. That's a Tetris light, it's covered up by Sega sign. That's the cute little Mario light, it's quite nice. And then, yeah, you've got your Dreamcast into Import Saturn. Um, I got most of my Saturn games uh, on Import, mostly because a lot. The games I like to play are fighting games and a lot of those only got released in Japan. And then my CDI games up here. Now also 3DO games which I haven't got actually with me at the minute but when I get my 3DO over I'll have to work out a place to put it but I've got a place to put the games. Mega CD, you may notice Mega CD is not hooked up anywhere. You may notice a few things on like Super Nintendo or anything like that. I just don't have the space to have them hooked up so and the Saturn too so I just have to connect them as necessary but they're all easily accessible and stored around various uh, parts of the house. Uh, NES again don't have an NES out at the minute but if I do I know where to find the games. So if you're wondering where N64 are I can't keep them in their original boxes like I originally wanted to but I've carried these over from the old games room full to the brim of N64 cartridges and in here you've got Super Nintendo and again accessories and some Amiga discs for some reason. <laughs> then over here you've got uh, a mixture of stuff but it's mostly N64 and Super Nintendo and then in here it's empty DS boxes actually and then you've got more accessories in the bottom. Here we have some big box games from Amiga to PC. A lot of those discs are actually separate and I've got them stored in there in the jewel cases. Uh, there's a few CDI games here because they're too tall for the other cabinet. And there is my Lemmings, Amiga and PC collection all together, all accessible. For the first time. And here's the front room. So we <laughs> it's more than just the games room, there's games all over the, the house. But uh, I'll tell you about I had another CRT 
Here it is, this is the one from the old games room. It's ended up in this corner. I have my PS5 games there, because I have my PS5 there hooked up to the downstairs telly. And then to show you a little bit what it looks like when you've got the, the lights off, you see the projector there. He's projecting, and that's the Mega Drive light, as you could probably see. Um, projecting into this corner and you can change the colour and such. I've got on like a colour changing thing, change the angle and things. But it's quite nice, it gives it a nice atmosphere in here and then you can put your little other little lamps on like here pixel pals mario i think that is up there and if you're sitting down here to play on the telly you've got your uh, playstation light as i was mentioning before lighting up the little ps3 area and then over there you've got your xbox light that's uh the, next to the Xbox. So that's it, that's the games room in a nutshell. Uh, I didn't want to make this too long or anything. If you, if you want to ask any questions about it, feel free in, in the comments. I can make another video if there's anything specifically you're interested in. But um, I think these videos are fun because when you've got a reasonably sized game collection and you want to get have the games consoles out and be able to play that collection, you have to think a lot of creative thinking in how you're going to set it all up. And this is how I've chosen to do it, how I've worked worked it all out. Maybe it's not 100% ideal. I would love to have everything connected. But in the space I have, the amount of cables, ports, power supplies involved in doing something like that, it's quite tricky. So this is the best I've come up with for the time being. And I have to say, I'm rather happy with it. Uh, I can play most of the stuff I want to play pretty easily. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I know we've not done a lot of gaming on the channel just lately, but I'd like to change that and get a bit more gaming content going on. So thanks again for watching and until I see you again, it's goodbye and game on.